Listen, listen, listen. Look, look, look. I can't take it. Look, look, look. I can't even defend it. Discuss, but not on her hand. I will do it, but not on her hand. I will do it, but not on her hand. There are many. Discuss with you. I will do it. Patton's hand. So cool. Have a think about so cool feel, and I'm here. So cool. Have a think about so cool feel, and I'm here. Actually did. Let's read again what your prophet actually Let's read that again. That's okay. important. Muhammad struck his finger once on the chest and caused me pain. Pain. Wow. Pain. And that's that what right? the favorite Why? wife gets. Why? 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 Do not lie about my prophet. Do not lie about my prophet. That's not fair. No, no, don't lie about my prophet in front of me. No, no, there is no hadith that says that she went green. Yes, she did. No, there is no hadith that she went green. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Don't be down. I'll show you next week. Yes, it does. In front of me, don't make false references. Go and look it up, sir. Listen, there is only the hadith you'll find. The prophet said he never hit anybody. The hadith for Ennis Ibn Malik. Issue of women. Sammy says, well, the beating, the beating isn't supposed to cause a woman pain, it's not supposed to leave any bruises, not supposed to hurt them. And here I'm not sure what Sammy uh you do you do have things, you do have Muslim commentators who, who say things like that. So this verse uses the form what that form means to limit and not exceed the bounds of normality. That's why Ibn Abbas, he said like to tap like this. It was controlling a social phenomenon. But if we look to the Muslim sources, we see something very different. Sahih Muslim, number 2127, Aisha sneaks out of the house to see what Muhammad's doing. Uh, Muhammad comes home, uh, finds her out of breath, asks her what she's done, and then what happened? He struck me on the chest, which caused me pain. Wait a minute, I, this is Aisha saying what Muhammad did. He struck me on the chest, which caused me pain. I thought Sammy said it's not supposed to cause pain. So was Muhammad violating his own commands in Surah uh, 434? As mentioned by Sayyidah Aisha, radiallahu anha, who said that the Prophet that the Prophet never hit a woman, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And as for the point about the Prophet Muhammad, he struck Aisha. I know that hadith he's talking about, but that's actually a wrong translation. If you read the Arabic, it doesn't say he struck her. It's actually he uh, rubbed her chest. And he did that to another man in a similar incident. He wasn't uh, striking her or hitting her. And that's the Arabic as well. Yes, there was some pain, but that wasn't the intention to cause pain. And again, the Prophet did it to another man, the same exact act. It's not an act of uh, hitting someone or violence. And again, the Arabic doesn't say struck. Wait, 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 wait to get to the Bible. We're going to have to wait a little bit though, okay?
Exodus 21, 20 through 21, gives instruction on how to beat your slaves. If a man beats his male or female slave with a rod and the slave dies as a direct result, he must be punished, but he is not to be punished if the slave gets up after a day or two, since the slave is his property. You can thrash them within inches of their lives, but make sure you don't directly kill them. Look at that! Look at that! That's not a religion I want!